really happy for this to be my first vlog on skincare here in Korea. So I'll be taking you along with me for my first ever treatment here, as well as some skincare shopping, a haul, and then a one week post-treatment update of how my skin is looking. So for my first treatment here, I decided to do a freckle slash mole removal. This is something that I've been planning on doing here for quite a while. I just wanted more of like a clear look on my face and neck. So that's what I decided to do. So for the procedure, I went to a clinic called Skinda, which was a really, really nice place. When we arrived there on the day, I first had a consultation with the doctor, then followed by another woman who discussed with me what freckles and moles I wanted to remove. So I decided for me, I just wanted them on my upper neck and face. So she went through and circled all the dots so it was super clear on what I was having removed. She also let me know the prices and for the ones that were darker or bigger, so like the moles rather than the lighter freckles, that they would be more expensive and probably need a couple more treatments in order to fully remove them. So then after that, I went to get some numbing cream. So they put it on the individual spots and then put some tape over them to cover it. I didn't actually feel anything from the numbing cream. I think it's because they just put it on the individual places rather than like a whole area. So I didn't feel anything at this time, but I had to wait half an hour in order for the cream to set in and work. So after half an hour, I went to go and get the procedure done. I want to say that this was less than 10 minutes, like it didn't take a long time at all. So they used a laser to laser the moles and freckles off my skin, and you could kind of smell the burning as it was happening too. Pain-wise, I don't think this was very painful at all. Like I certainly felt it and there was some pain to it, but it wasn't bad, I don't think, whatsoever. And again, super, super short. So once that was done, they then took me to put some cream onto the spots and then put some patches on top of all of them and then that was me done. So the patches that they put on, they also told me to go and buy some myself because I would need to keep replacing them. But yeah, the whole experience was really short and easy. I have just gotten home from the skin clinic. I'm gonna keep this really short because I look like an absolute mess. I have all these patches on the spots that they worked on and there's 17 in total so there's a lot going on. I'm now going to stay at home for the rest of the day because I need to keep out of the sun so it can heal properly. So my skin was very red underneath the patches straight after the procedure and for a couple of days after as well. After the patches turned white which was like the skin healing and letting stuff out I had to replace them. So it started to turn into kind of like once a day replacing the patches. So that's it for the procedure and treatment. I'll go back to the rest of my week now and then see you at the end for a one week update. I am out cosmetic shopping today, which I'm super excited about. I'm just gonna look around at everything and I have a few things that I'm planning on buying too. The first place we're going to is called Aromatica and it's like a clean beauty store and they even offer services like if you take your old bottles in, they refill them. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go and take a look. right now I'm just standing here staring there's so many and they all look honestly I, I want everything We are off for some food now. I recently looked up some 
foods that are like good for your skin here. So we're gonna go and hopefully have something like that now. very much still recovering. It's been five days since I got the procedure now, but we are here for dinner and I got the green and cheese, which is like this tofu stew that's going to be full. Antioxidants and really good for the skin, so we've got that, as well as some bit of and some meat too. delicious meal and felt like super nutritious as well so I had the soybean paste stew and halfway through I was like I'm gonna actually look up what is in this because it looked like well I know it was like seafood or vegetables in it and it looked like little clams or something and I looked it up and it was actually snails in it um, and then I was thinking well snails you know you can get like face masks of them so maybe it's actually good for you and just trying to help my thinking while eating snails for the first time and I looked it up and it says they're good sources of iron, calcium, and vitamin A. So I guess it was just part of the nutrition. So hopefully I got some benefits from that. I thought I would do a little haul of everything that I ended up buying yesterday. I could have definitely gotten a lot more, but I actually already have quite a few cosmetics. So this is what I've got for now. And then later on, I'm sure I'll be back to buy everything else that I wanted to get because there was so much. So let's start with Aromatica because that's where we went first. I got this rose hip oil. So I've been using a Baobab oil to cleanse my face recently, but I've just run out. So I thought I would try rose hip as it's meant to be really good for dry skin, which is what I have. This was extremely expensive though. So I feel like this is just a temporary addition to my routine and then I'll have to find another alternative, but I'm excited to use this. I think it's gonna be really, really good. From there, I also got their lavender and marjoram body lotion and this smells incredible. I tried it on in the store and it smells so nice and after trying it on my hands, they were moisturized all afternoon. So again, because I have dry skin, I really need something like this. So I'm excited to use it, especially at nighttime because of the lavender, it will get me ready for sleep. They also gave service of a little shampoo rosemary sculpt bar and a cleansing tea tree balancing bar. So these are just little testers, so I'll give them a go and see if these are any good too. So then from Olive Young, I got some cotton puffs, which are just essential. I also got the Be Plain Cleansing Foam. I've heard really good things about this and it's really, really popular. It was actually on the Olive Young 2021 awards. So a lot of people are buying it and liking it. And they've got a little set going on right now. So it comes with a mini version as well as their cleansing oil. So I can try that with it as well. Again, this is a vegan brand. I got the Avene Thermal Spring Water. This is just something I really like to add sometimes just to spray and refresh my face and add some moisture throughout the day. I also feel like it sits really nice on top of makeup. I really enjoy using this throughout the day. I got a Benefit Brow Pencil just because mine is about to run out soon. I then got the BB Lab Collagen Sachets. I actually wanted to get a box of this, like a full thing, but they didn't have any. They just had it in separate packages. So I got four of them, which I guess is a good thing so I can try the first seat they're like and this has fish collagen in it so again they don't know how much digesting collagen affects your skin but it's good for you anyway and hopefully it does help my skin because I would like the collagen and then I got the Vita C dark spot serum green tangerine sheet mask so this is a extremely popular vitamin C serum and because I actually have a serum right now and a couple of other backups to use after I thought I would get the sheet mask and try that out before using the serum so I'm expecting good things from this and it to brighten my skin and give me some needed vitamin C. So yeah, that's everything I got from yesterday. I'm really excited to try these out and I'll definitely be getting a lot more once my current things have run out because honestly, I could buy everything from there. It was amazing. So today it's been exactly a week since I had the procedure done. I'm still wearing the patches every single day. I took them off for the purpose of this video, but I'm still wearing them and I will continue to do so after today. The spots have definitely faded a lot. They're a lot less red. You can still see the marks on my face, but it's not so much a 
wrinkle or a mole is kind of just like a red mark where the skin is healing. The ones that are on my cheeks are definitely a lot fainter than the darker ones, but again, that's because I need to go back for a couple more treatments on those because they're harder to remove. I'm really excited for them to fade and see the final results, which unfortunately isn't now, but I can see that it's starting to get there and what that could look like. So that's it for the skincare vlog today. I'm sure there'll be another one sometime. There are so many treatments and things I want to try out here. So until then, I'll see you later.